Hey everybody, we are teaching Vermilion, and this time we're going to look at a brush called the Blender Brush. There are no special settings for it, and it has a very, very fairly specific use that sets it apart from the other standard brushes. So let's go to the rack and check out the Blender Brush. Ah, the rack of brushes. So we're going to use this guy, Blender Brush. He's a flat block white brush, and your thumb controller does nothing. No variation. The blender brush, what you see is what you got. So let's go to studio view and see what we got. Blender brush. This guy, he is a rectangular white brush. That's it. Your thumb controller does nothing. He just does that. Now, if you load up paint... I'm going to load up some lovely blue paint. And you paint on the canvas. It looks pretty normal. Gives a much smoother coverage. You'll notice there's no bristles whatsoever. It also holds a lot of paint. I can get pretty good coverage for one swipe of paint. Instead of fading into bristle strokes, when you paint with this brush, it'll fade. Holds a lot of paint. There, now you can see it start to fade. It doesn't go into bristles so much as just sort of fade out. The blender brush, it's almost like it's a solid piece of cotton or something. It doesn't have brushes, it's about blending. So there I've got lots of blue. Let's grab a very different color. Cleaning our brush first, of course. And paint some over here. Now with the blender brush, it is much less likely to mix paint. So if I blender brush right over into the blue, you can see it doesn't really turn purple. It brings that red up with it. If I've got color on the brush and I'm painting, it will tend to overpaint more easily than most of the other brushes. I'm on the same layer and you can see it's not really blending. It's letting me cover it up with this red color. A normal brush, like the oval brush, if I went back and forth like that, it turns it purple. It doesn't overpaint. It mixes it. So one property of the blender brush is it's more of an overpainter. The other property of the blender brush is it's sort of like giving it a blur. You can see how sharp some of these edges are until I start going back and forth. This time I have no paint on the brush. And you can see instead of blending it into purple, it's just sort of fading the edges, blurring the edges. So it's blending them without mixing them. So I could have two colors next to each other and have it go smoothly from one to the next without a transition blend. No purple in between. If I've got a bright yellow over here, with a blending brush, I can go from yellow to blue with almost no green in between them. Blending as opposed to mixing. Now, it will be able to pull some color. So if I start in red and keep going, let's get some fresh color here. Let's do a bright orange across this. Now, I can use the blending brush. You can see how it's sort of pulling color across as I'm going in the same direction. I'm actually cleaning my brush between each stroke. If I don't, it really, in this case, doesn't make much difference. Because the blending brush isn't mixing paint. It's blurring edges. If I go back and forth, again, it gets blurry, it gets messy without mixing. So this is good for doing things like reflections on the water, where I want the edges to blur without actually mixing the colors together. Blending brush, very good for those blurry type of edges without mixing the color. You can see since there is white canvas, the white no color is being pulled and blurred and blended 
without being mixed so much. You can overdo it. Obviously, if I keep going too much, it's now sort of all fading out and mixing together. But this brush is for mixing edges without mixing colors, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Give it a try. See how it works for you. Obviously, with different layers, they're not going to mix at all. But the blending brush gives you a lot of control as far as having colors over each other without colors mixing together. Keeping their original colors, but blending the edges together. Blending brush. Give it a try. Let us know if you have questions in the comments below. We do this all the time here at Shameless Mayhem, and we're looking forward to seeing what artwork you guys create. Let us know in the comments. Feel free to link in your own videos. We like showing off everybody's art. Vermilion, the virtual reality oil painting app. Have fun, everybody. We'll see you soon.